going on, y'all? It's your boy Alex. I'm coming to y'all real quick to let y'all know my advice to men. I would stay out of relationships in a serious manner, at least until I'm at bare minimum 30. And here's why. It's funny because even as a young man, and I'm not married yet, and I don't have any kids yet either. Uh, and it's funny because even as a young man, I said, I'm going to have kids and I'm going to get married around 30. That's when I started looking. Because it's like even then, I somehow knew. I'm probably gonna need to get myself established, find out what my purpose really is, where I'm trying to go, what I'm where I'm trying to live, and what I'm trying to do. I need to get all that together because if I don't have all that together, how can I invite a woman into it? I put out a video a long time ago where I told you guys, do women help build? No, women don't help build. You gotta understand when women say I'll support you, that's as far as going to work. Not on your dreams or your passion or your purpose, okay? When she says I'll support you, she mean peanut butter and jelly sandwich to eat on break at work. She mean I'll buy you some Hot Pockets next time I go to the store to make at break on work. She means I'll put leftovers in the fridge for you to heat up in your microwave at work. She does not mean I'm going to help you buy equipment for your business. She does not mean I'm going to sleep in the car with you outside for auditions. She does not mean I'm going to be your first customer when your business opens now. Are there some women out there like that? Yeah, but you guys gotta understand, like I told y'all before, women's main purpose in their femininity is to take the lemons you have and make lemonade. So you gotta go and get your lemons first. And because I always knew that, I didn't take relationships really like super seriously in a serious manner until 30. That's when you start worrying about, like I said, buying houses, getting cars, having kids, getting life insurance and things like that. My advice to young men, all young men, focus on yourself. Okay, listen, you got to understand something. Like I said, because women don't build and God bless them, they're completely useless to you for the first 30 years of your life. But like, what, what is she going to do? All she's going to do is sit there and watch you build and eat off of it. Or she's going to sit there and try to tear down what you're building because she's insecure and she feels like if you come up, she ain't going to be able to handle all the pressure. So she don't want you to come up. It's going to be so rare for you to run into a young woman. Okay, you got you guys got to realize women have a 12 year run. 18 to 30 is their peak. They'll never look hotter. They'll never get better, guys. So you want her to spend her prime years building with you. That's a high risk for her, if we're being honest, because if, especially if you don't marry her, because what if she does spend her 10 years, so from 20 to 30, she building with you, you take off at 32. Men don't hit their financial peak to 35, but we'll say you take off at 32, you decide to head on down to the junior college and get you a young chick. Where does that leave her? At 32, washed, past their prime with no man. So you guys got to understand, I don't even blame them. I'm not even saying this as a knock for women. I'm just telling y'all what y'all need to do. If you don't have anything, you're not going to be able to really keep a woman long term unless you use love, which never works because it never lasts because it's emotion. There's a thin line between love and hate. It's fleeting. And at the end of the day, relationships are business, rather people want to admit it or not. And in the business of a relationship as a man, you got to provide. That's just it at the end of the day. You should want to do that anyway. You should want to be competitive anyway. You know, that's in our nature or whatever the case may be. So in your 30s, man, I mean, in your 20s, really heading into your 30s, you should be trying to pick a plan and stick to it, trying to figure out what it is you want to do. And that might take you some time. Like I went to college for accounting, then I ended up making movies. Who would have seen that coming? You know, but again, that flexibility you're going to need in life. You know, I'm from upstate New York. I live in Maryland now. I'm about to be in L.A. soon. Like you need that flexibility and women and kids, women and kids want nesting. That's what they want. That's what they need. And again, it's no knock on that, but you're not going to really be able to provide that from 20 to 30 because you're starting to build a nest for them to nest in. You got to understand women are nesters. They don't build the nest. So take your 20s to 30s to realize you want to go to school, go to school. If you want to get a trade, figure out what trade it is that you want to get, get your trade, work on your body, you know what I'm saying? Get yourself in shape, get your mind right. And then you want to have real wisdom to pass to your kids too. You don't got no real wisdom to pass. What you going to tell your kid in your if day 30 um, you 30, I'm sorry, and they 10. What the hell are you really telling them? You don't really know much. You know what I'm saying? So take your time, young men. Slow down. The women aren't going anywhere. Look, if you are watching this and you're in your 20s, you know what your interactions with women should be? It should be, hey, how you doing, sexy? Listen, if you're not doing nothing later, I, I know you're not doing nothing later. I know you're just going to be kicking your feet up, watching Moesha feet smell like corn nuts <laughs> in the house. You're not doing nothing later. But don't say that part. But anyway, if you're not doing nothing later, I like to take you out, chill with you, okay? You know, whatever the case may be. You take her out. You press up on her. You know what I'm saying? You let her know, you know, hey, what's good? Listen, I'm not looking for nothing serious right now, but we can have a good time. You know what I'm saying? And you either going to hit her with that or you not. <laughs> but what else are you going to do? You ain't moving her in. 
in your 20s, chances are, and she ain't going to be trying to cook clean or do anything that's really necessary to get a ring probably at that age, especially if you're not already established. So just get in there, have your fun, make it clap, and get out, get your life together, and then once your life's together, that's when you can start seriously looking for potential partners around your 30s. That's when I would start, around your early 30s. That's a good age for us. Remember, we don't even hit our prime till like 35. So it's no rush for us. You're going to get pressure from them because they tap out faster. But it makes no sense for you to try to keep up with the rat race and try to keep this woman happy. You got to understand, if you marry a woman at 26, you're competing with 40-year-olds. She's going to be telling you about what everybody else around her got. And these people are like 40 years old and you in your 20s. You're just not you're ill-prepared to fight that battle. You don't even know what you like in a woman yet. She don't even know what she like in a man for real yet. Wait until your 30s. At least have your stuff together. Have your mind right. Know what you can and can't deal with. And then worry about the women later. But get your path on life right first. That's probably the best advice I can give y'all. I'm Alex and I'm out. Peace.